this video, you'll learn how to create global entitlements in a CloudPod architecture environment. You use global entitlements to entitle users and groups to multiple desktops and applications across the pods in the Pod Federation. The connection server instances in the Pod Federation use the global data layer to share global entitlements. When you use global entitlements, you do not need to configure and manage local entitlements. There are two types of global entitlements global desktop entitlements, and global application entitlements. A global desktop entitlement contains entitled users and groups and desktop pools that can provide desktops for the entitled users. The desktop pools can be floating pools or dedicated pools. A global application entitlement contains entitled users and groups and application pools that can provide applications for the entitled users. A single global entitlement can contain resources from across the entire pod federation. In this example, a global desktop entitlement contains desktop pools from three different pods located in three different data centers. Similarly, global application entitlements can contain application pools from different pods in different data centers. When a user requests a desktop or application from a global entitlement, Horizon 7 searches for an available desktop or application in the pools in the global entitlement. To satisfy a desktop or application request, Horizon 7 searches local resources first, starting in the pod that the user is connected to. Horizon 7 then extends the search to resources in the same site. And finally, Horizon 7 searches for resources across the entire pod federation. A Horizon 7 administrator can configure global entitlement policies to modify the default search behavior. The global entitlement policies that affect search behavior are scope and use home site. Let's look at the scope policy first. The scope policy controls the scope of the search when looking for desktops and applications in the pod federation. For global entitlements that contain dedicated desktop pools, the scope policy only affects where to look for desktops the first time a user requests a dedicated desktop. The all sites scope policy setting searches in all the pods in the pod federation. The within site scope policy setting searches the pods in the same site as the user's pod. The within pod scope policy setting searches the pod that the user is connected to. The use home site policy causes the global entitlement to recognize the user's home sites. For entitled users that have home sites, the use home site policy causes Horizon 7 to start looking for desktops or applications in the user's home site instead of the site that the user is connected to. If you also enable the optional Entitled User Must Have Home Site setting, the global entitlement isn't available to users who don't have home sites. Let's look at an example of a global entitlement whose Use Home Site policy is enabled. In this example, an entitled user named John has a home site in London, but he's traveling and is connected to a connection server instance in New York. When John connects to the connection server instance in New York, the global entitlement use home site policy causes Horizon 7 to start looking for a desktop in John's home site in London. If a desktop is not available in John's home site, Horizon 7 looks for a desktop in the other sites in the pod federation. Now let's look at what happens when the use home site policy isn't enabled for a global entitlement. In this example, an entitled user named Jane lives and works in London but she's traveling and is connected to a connection server instance in New York. Because Jane is connected to the New York site and the use home site policy is not enabled, she receives a desktop from the New York site instead of from the London site. In part three of this video series, we'll configure the cloud pod architecture feature. For more information about the cloud pod architecture feature, visit docs.vmware.com.